The Flash is one of the most popular superheroes around. He's fast, he's powerful, and he's always there to save the day. But which version of The Flash is the most powerful? This is a question that has been debated by fans for years, as each version of the character comes with their own strengths and weaknesses. So, in today's video, we'll be going over our picks for the strongest variants of the Scarlet Speedster, starting off with Tanaka Ray. Ray is the Flash of Earth D. He has all of the basic standard abilities that all Flashes share, such as enhanced and accelerated healing, senses, being able to run very fast, phasing through objects, and so on. While he's neither the strongest nor the fastest among Flashes, he still deserves a spot on this list due to single-handedly being able to power the cosmic treadmill during the evacuation efforts on Earth D. He may not have strength, but he more than makes up for it with heart. Up next, we have Jay Garrick. Garrick, the original Flash, made his comic debut in Flash Comics No. 1 back in November of 1939. Since he was essentially one of the earliest superheroes to ever exist in comics, his powers were pretty impressive, but not amazing as his later versions, as he could only run as fast as the speed of sound, a beyond impressive feat back in 1939 before the invention of the jet engine. And although he couldn't use the speed force, the energy field that powers most future versions of the character, he's still among the fastest and the most powerful superheroes of his day. He may be the slowest Flash when compared to the speeds all other versions manage to attain. Still, it doesn't make him any less powerful than the others. Plus, he's also a master of the blade and can throw his winged helmet at his foes, which became sort of a trademark move over the years. At unlucky number 13, there's Avery Ho. Avery gained her super speed in a pretty bizarre way, being struck by lightning when the speed force went haywire. Although she struggled to use her newfound powers at first, she managed to make peace with them, leading to a world of possibilities. Considering how new she is, she has yet to reach her top speed, not even being able to hit light speed yet, even though many of the other characters can do it with relative ease. However, she has the ability to phase through solid objects by vibrating really fast, allowing her to practically make any physical boundaries invalid. Following up, we have Salah Allen. She's both the Flash of the future, living in the 23rd century, and is also the living embodiment of speed force. While trapped in medical stasis, being in a permanently slowed down state caused by exposure to cobalt blue, she was finally able to interact with the physical world by manifesting herself as speed force itself. Of course, this was a very difficult task and required an enormous amount of power from her end. As for the rest of her powers, being the embodiment of the speed force allows her to easily use any of the standard set of abilities that most Flash variants have. Moving on, there's Danica Williams. Williams managed to tap into the speed force before anyone was even aware of its existence, starting her life as the daughter of a transportation engineer at Star Labs. She enjoyed running and was even on track to become a celebrated track star, pun not intended. However, this was made impossible due to suffering from a medical condition similar to asthma, as well as another undiagnosed mental health condition. What nobody knew at the time, though, was the fact that those voices that Danica was hearing were actually all of the previous flashes, due to her being able to tap into the speed force. She had no trouble getting the hang of her abilities, most notably being able to run on air molecules. Her suit was designed by her father after she revealed her newfound power to her family. You can add that last part as being another of her strongest abilities, having supportive parents. Coming into the top tens, we have Bart Allen. Being Barry Allen's grandson, Bart was blessed with all of the incredible abilities connected to to the speed force, but do that also caused him to age rapidly. While he has all the standard abilities each Flash variant possesses, he has a couple of unique additions as well, as his powers aren't just limited to his physical abilities thanks to his photographic memory. Moving at this speed allows him to transcend relativity itself. He eventually got stabilized after arriving in the present day, where he went on to become a member of the Young Justice as well. Next on our list is Black Flash. It's hard to imagine anything that can travel at speeds faster than that of light, but here we are. His ability ability to catch up to all of the other speedsters and reclaim them into the speed force makes him one of the strongest and the deadliest version of the character. He's the physical manifestation of death imbued with the power of the speed force itself, making him unimaginably powerful. This variant is also immortal, making him almost impossible to beat. At the halfway point of this list is Jonathan Fox. Being the Flash of the 27th century, while Fox has all of the standard abilities the previous Flashes have, he also has some aspects that are unique to him. Since he's a more advanced form of human being, he has greater telepathic abilities, is smarter, stronger, and even more biologically advanced than any of his predecessors. He's pretty much the I'm better Homelander meme of Flashes, minus all the genocidal tendencies. Coming up next is Reverse Flash. Not only is Reverse Flash one of the most powerful Flash variants, he's also one of the most dangerous supervillains to ever exist in the DC Universe. Eobard Thawne made his debut 
debut in the Flash number 139 back in 1963, and much like the Flash himself, has seen a major advance in his power potential. Nowadays, he has mastered the use of the negative speed force, the polar opposite of the natural energy field that gives every one of the speedsters their powers. It gave him enhanced speed, stamina, reflexes, agility, and of course strength. It allowed him to match any speedster in speed. He also has cosmic awareness, can phase through dimensions, use hypnosis, and even alter reality. Truly a force to be reckoned with. Up next is another villainous speedster, Zoom. Just like Flash, Reverse Flash also has a few variants as well, with one of the most powerful of them being Zoom. He was the primary antagonist to Wally West, making his debut in The Flash Secret Files and Origins number 3 back in 2001. Although he might have taken his name and costume from the original Reverse Flash, he's even more powerful than the already nefarious villain. He is so fast that he can run across time and space itself, speeding up or slowing down time at will, making him powerful beyond comprehension. Moving into the top five, there's Future Flash. This version of the character was created for one purpose, killing Barry Allen in order to correct all the wrongs that had happened as a consequence of him tempering with the Speed Force. But at the heart of it all, he's a broken man that has lost everything. Not only is he the ultimate embodiment of the Speed Force, he's also driven by anger and sadness as well. Plus, he's also received training by Batman, Lady Shiva, and Ra's al Ghul, some of the most skilled beings in the DC Universe, making him even more lethal. Other than being the embodiment of the speed force, he's capable of accelerated healing, slowing down his aging, manipulating energy so much that he can manifest completely new objects. He can also manipulate vortex creations, making him a difficult foe to deal with. Wally West also speeds into the list in the next spot. Although it was Barry Allen who created the speed force, Wally discovered it and was also responsible for creating many of the techniques that are associated with it. Some of his other notable achievements include running for two days straight without even stopping to catch his breath, eat, drink, or or sleep, which certainly speaks volumes about his stamina. He describes himself as having a punch stronger than a white dwarf star, can escape the gravitational pull of a black hole, and can run so fast that he turns lava into sand beneath his feet. However, perfecting all of the various ways the other flashes can utilize the speed force is definitely his crowning achievement. Heading into the top threes, we have Wallace West. A being even greater in power than Wally West, this flash comes from the seminal 90s comic book series Kingdom Come. This version of the speedster is so fast that he can never stop moving, only being perceived as a red blur. Turns out that he was actually an amalgamation of several characters merged with the Speed Force, including Wally, Barry, and even Jay Garrick. His interdimensional awareness also makes him almost godlike in power thanks to his perception of time and space. The penultimate entry on our list is Barry Allen. What can we say about Barry that isn't already known to every DC fan? The current Flash, much like all of the other Flash versions on this list, is capable of tapping into and making use of the Speed Force itself. He's also easily the fastest Flash of them all, but what really makes him stand out among the crowd is the fact that he was essentially the creator of the Speed Force, meaning every other speedster who taps into that energy has him to thank for their abilities. And finally, at the number one spot on our list is the Red Death. He's one of the latest versions of the Flash, and in many ways, is also the most powerful. Making his debut in the Dark Knight's Metal comics, this variant is a twisted fusion of Batman and the Flash, born as a result of the Dark Knight deciding that he needs to be able to use the Speed Force in order to prevent crime in the world. This eventually led to the creation of a version of the Flash that's beyond powerful. While he can form various bat gadgets faster than the speed of light, such as Batarangs, his most powerful feature is his intellect. After all, mixing the mind of Bruce Wayne with Flash's speed would result in a truly powerful entity. That's a wrap for this video. Do you agree with our list? Which other Flash variant do you think deserves a spot on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.